welcome to Jurassic Gingerbread. Here's a little intro until I get one professionally done. Like, comment, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Rochester, my place of residence. I was gonna say my hometown, but that's not true because I'm from not Buffalo. Accurate. Yes, not accurate. But we are in Rochester, which is accurate, and we are at the George Eastman Museum, who is the founder of Kodak. And very prevalent in Rochester, there's the big Kodak building. Um, since digital photography has come out, since the thing, in case you haven't noticed, we're digital currently on this camera. <laughs> Big reel inside. There's that little bird like in the. <laughs> yeah, so um, I used to run a one. This is all over the place. I used to run a one hour photo booth, and um, that was like my favorite job, but it was on the cusp of the digital revolution. So you weren't, you weren't very busy? No, so that job ceased. But I always was thinking, like, oh, I can move to Rochester and do film stuff, and then. No, so, but we're gonna go see film stuff oh, now. Fun fact, there's a scene in Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Where the lightsaber, you can see the word Rochester on the bottom of the lightsaber because the lightsaber was actually made out of a part of a flash for a camera. Yeah. It was manufactured here in Rochester. Yeah, and another fun fact, he's a very southern guy with his cute little hood on and I'm like, my sleeves are rolled up and I'm like, eh. It's kind of warm out. It's 45. It's <laughs> so we're gonna go inside and keep him warm and uh, follow us. And here is their current Christmas exhibit. It's Sweet Creations. And there's a bunch of fun gingerbread houses. First we have Girl Power. And look how cute. Look at all the happy little gingerbread girls and the cute little house. I love gingerbread houses. I need to make more. I've only made a couple and they've been from kits. So I feel like I need to do better. <laughs> this gingerbread's called On the Rocks. And look at this. It's a little gingerbread lighthouse. And it really lights up. And look, there's a little seagull on there. Look at that little guy. There's also these little buoys in the water and another little seagull friend and look the bridge has a little seagull mounted there and a little life raft and if we continue up up the path you can see this little gingerbread cottage that's so cute and a sign directing us to the north pole in canada and rochester well we're in rochester currently so that wouldn't be much of a indicator but yeah it's really really cute so the sweet creations exhibit you can bid until january 1st and there's more on the second floor of the mansion. All proceeds benefit the George Eastman Legacy Collection. And here's the link for the auction and all kinds of fun stuff. This one called Holiday Carousel is what you would think. It is a little carousel inside a present. And look at the little reindeers as the carousel horses on the poles. There's some little confectionery glitter. And if you look up, there's all the decor. And look at the, I'm, I'm gonna just keep saying look at the reindeer because they are my favorite. And they just go around and around as a carousel would. Jacob! You can buy the gingerbread houses. Yeah, apparently you can bid on them. Yeah. And so you can then you can take this home and just sit in your kitchen and eat it. <laughs> yes, we're gonna devour the horses. Or they're not horses, they're little right there, Jacob, look. This one's called a winter's nap, and look, 
Look at Winnie the Pooh. There's little homie pots and this little like marshmallow log on top and the smokestack and look how sleepy and fat and cozy he is. Jacob just took me over here to see this one. Look! It's called Jurassic Park, and do you know why? Because it's Jurassic Park! Look at this T-Rex, the, the, the car, the Jeep upside down is in, you know, Jurassic Park. And look, there's another Jeep, and it's just waiting, and look at the glass on top. Like, you can see, it's <laughs> so cute. And the gate. Welcome to Jurassic Gingerbread. This one's called Stadium, and look, it's a Pokemon Stadium. And they have a little ghost up top, and there's all kinds of jelly beans. I was gonna say Jelly Belly, but I think they're jelly beans. And licorice, and little lightning bolts made out of gingerbread, and sprinkles. Here we have Roller Coaster Family Fun. Jacob, you like roller coasters. Do you like gingerbread roller coasters? It looks like it's made out of Rice Krispies. The track's made of licorice. It's so cute. And look at the little trees and the swirlies. And look, there's a little pond there with little gingerbread friends ice skating on there. Oh, and it's it's so cute. Okay, here here we go again. Kirby and the Forgotten Gingerbread Land. Kirby is my favorite. Kirby and Yoshi. Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi. Kirby and Yoshi. But look, look at Kirby's little house. And look at Kirby. Here, look how happy he is. And the, uh, oh no, what are they called? Is it like Wad something? The Jacob, do you know what the little orange guys are called? Uh, no, I don't like Kirby. I love Kirby. I'm disappointed I can't think of what they're called. People can yell at me. Oh, it, it's so cute. They should have the apple tree. That would be fun. This one's called Frosty Fest. And look at these cute little snowmen and the little penguin. Oh, there's an elf poking out over there. The little gingerbread man. And then, of course, the gingerbread house itself. This one's called Rainbow Ranch. And look, it's a little ranch with little horsies and the stable with a rainbow on top over there. And then this little gingerbread barn for the ranch. And this is called Smart Savings and Sweet Adventure starts here. And it's a little bank. It's close to heart because a bank and I'm a banker. And there's little coins on top of this house. And that's the roof. It's little chocolate coins and little Rolos there it looks like. And look how cute. Look at the little truck. Here we have the dance of the gingerbread fairies. And look how cute these little angels are. I love them and the little mice and the cute little cabin in the back. Okay, my nerdy self is happy again. It's a Hogwarts Christmas. Look at those guys. Look how cute. <laughs> the little car in this tree. Oh, look at the castle. This one's fancy pants. This is St. Patrick's Cathedral. And look at this. It lights up in there. You can see the steeples coming around here. Yeah, this is crazy. Look at the stained glass, the roof. And there's more lights over here. And just look at, look at the roof there. Like how glittery and shimmery. This is quite impressive. This is like the, the, the gingerbread champion. <laughs> Here we have the Mary Merlot Chateau. It is a chateau of gingerbread and it doesn't get more fancy than that. If you have a chateau, like you're at a whole new level. It's not just a gingerbread house, a gingerbread castle. It is a chateau. You can see on this side, there's a little tree and a little snowflake cookie. And the back here of the chateau. This one's called the Chatterbox Birdhouse. And this is super fun, starting with the mushrooms and flowers on the bottom. And look at this tree. Look at it. Look coming up, a little perch for the bird, and then the bird itself. 
That's crazy. Look at the piping and decorating the ornaments on the side. Coming around to the back, we have more ornaments and more decoration. I love that little bird. It is this way to the mansion and gardens, but if you peer over here through the seating area, you can see some of the gardens. And I mean, it is winter, so they won't look as magnificent as they usually do, but you can just see how like expansive the grounds are. Like this place is insane. A mansion, if you will, you know, the <laughs> George Eastman Mansion. Sweet Creations display continues this way. Jacob, this way! Oh look, more, more garden. Do you think we can plant a garden like this? No. <laughs> this one's called a zoo for you, and look at all these little critters. Jacob, are these like the little animals you buy in those like jungle packs? I don't know, are they supposed to be edible? That's what I was gonna say. I don't, I don't know if this counts. I feel like these have to be like a little gingerbread go gorilla. Oh no. They, oh, but look at the mirror there with the hippos. And here we are walking into the mansion all festive for Christmas. Look at this little tree here. This is the Blue Star Mother's Chapter 8 tree. But that was fun. Look, look, dinner served. There's some asparagus here. And over here, some dinner rolls. Jacob, do you want asparagus and rolls for dinner? Uh, <laughs> oh, and look at this tree. All floral and lovely. That would be a really nice wedding tree. I like that a lot. And this is a winter garden Christmas. Jacob, it's your favorite room. Yes, because of the giant elephant. The elephant room. Do you think we could hang that on our wall? Above our garden? <laughs> it's hanging there. The elephant needs a little Santa hat. Below the elephant we have this little guy and it's pink and it makes me happy because I love pink. And it's called Italian Women's Civic Club. So I guess that's where it was donated by. I don't think that's actually the name of the tree per se. <laughs> Here we have a saw and a house. Jacob, Jacob, what's this? Oh, I'm not really sure. Is that, <laughs> that, is that the mansion we're in? Being with a saw in it? <laughs> but why does it have a saw in it? Sure. I have so many questions. If anyone knows what this is, it doesn't have a little plaque. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's symbolic. Like, I saw mommy kissing Santa in this house last night. Look at this dapper jet. He doesn't have a nameplate, so I'm just going to name him. This is Colonel Patrick Ulysses Pinocchio. Do you, do you like his? Okay. <laughs> and over here below the elephant, you can see this big tusk and these poinsettias, which are hazardous to our kitty friends. So no poinsettias in kitty households. And even more poinsettias. So many poinsettias. I have poinsettia envy because I can't own them. Because kitties. And a player piano, which you can hear throughout the entire mansion. This tree is called Garden Gems, Egg, and Gourds. And look, there's little lit eggs and birds and a little cardinal friend atop. And look at the eggs. Oh, and a little nest with the eggs. And all these trees are also available for bed, as I've just been told. So, place your beds. Oh, I found another dapper gentleman and some more poinsettias. Jacob, 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 what do you think his name is? Um, Jonathan Dog Puncher. Oh, Jonathan Dog Puncher, the great, the great sir. Look at these fancy chandeliers above this pool table. This is, this is fancy pants. This, 
And I like that it's decorated for Christmas. Look at this little panther here. Look at him all roaring. And look at this cute little foot here. It's an ashtray made from, what animal is this? An elk, a gazelle, a elk gazelle? I'm not sure. That's really cool. Here is a tree called Lion King. And you know why? Because there's Lion King things on the tree. Look at that. That's really cool. And there's a Lion King book. Oh, and a little teeny tiny elephant next to it. Look at that guy. And I was just laughing because I looked over and I thought there really was someone on this couch. Yeah, he spooked me. <laughs> he really did just scare me. He's sitting there all reading the paper with his jaguar. Is that a jaguar skin? And Leopard or jaguar. Yeah, he, he scared me. I looked up and I'm like, why is someone on the furniture? Oh, it's just gray cardboard man. This tree was donated by the Rochester Dahlia Society, and I am a big fan. Look at this, and especially these little twirls atop. I would call this the twirly whirly. Oh, look at this room. Look at this tree. That is fancy. I like the tree topper there. Oh, and the little presents underneath. There's a little giraffe and a bear and a rhinoceros and an elephant. Oh, I found another dapper friend who has a very nice hat. I really like his hat. I'm going to call him Harry Hat Man. Yep, that's, that's all Harry Hat. This is called the Princess Uber Company. You can see Uber carved into the wheel and a little princess carriage. You're Princess Uber. Here we have stopped that pickle. There's a little pickle here, some toast, a pretzel, a little jar, ice cream, and they're all chasing the pickle. Stop that pickle. This is Winter Wonderland Log Cabin, and I really like it because look at that little snowman. He's so happy. And then you have the house and the tree, and look at the cute little chimney. We're upstairs now, and you can see the elephant even closer. Look at him. Hello, Mr. Elephant. This one's also Winter Wonderland. And look at the little snowman. This one on the right has been impaled. That guy is cute, too. I'm a big fan of this one. I think I would bid on this one. Or Jurassic Park. Maybe Jurassic Park. But this, is, this one's a runner up. This is called Anna's Fairy House. Look how glittery. Look how fun. And a fairy lives inside. Here's an inside out house. And you can see all the little fun guys, including Sadness, who is my doppelganger. <laughs> and the very hungry caterpillar's adventure. Look how colorful this is. All the cookies displayed together and the sun in the bed with the book. This one's called Fisher Price Winter A Frame. And I originally thought this was like a Star Wars droid or something when I glanced over here. So that's where my mind goes. Here is the kids room at the George Eastman Museum and you can go into the camera obscura. Walk into a room size camera and see how light works. I'm going to walk in to the room size camera with my camera and see how this goes. Jacob, how does light work? How do you do it? There's an arrow that says to go this way. Oh, oh, we found the dot. So there's a dot on this wall which projects the trees. What are we looking at, Jacob? Um, it's a reverse image of whatever it's outside. So, I don't know if you can tell, but there's the outline of the trees, and it's kind of dark. It's not dark outside, but it's very dark in here. Here, you can see a display of a bunch of different cameras throughout Kodak. And 
I particularly like this one with the like accordion like lens here. And in this room you have George Eastman's first home movie thing you can see here. Here you can see that the name Kodak was decided by George Eastman, not because of anything in particular, but because he wanted something that sounded strong. And the first letter was his mother's maiden name, and he thought the names could be easily pronounced in many languages, and it was an important factor in overseas marketing. Here we have an early advertisement for the Kodak camera. And here is the first model of the Kodak camera, including all the parts needed for assembly. And in explaining the trade name Kodak, there is a letter here written explaining again in regard to the word Kodak, I can say that it was purely an arbitrary combination of letters not derived in whole of any part of an existing word which I find super interesting that it was just kind of made up. And here is patent 317049, the patent for photographic film. Here in the sitting area, we have a postcard of the George Eastman Memorial at Kodak Park along with his coffin, his cigarette case and lighter. Here are pieces of his coffin. And here we have the note that he left behind saying, to my friends, my work is done, why wait? And signed by George Eastman. There's also a note written by George Eastman requesting his cremation along with his certificate of death. Entering the gift shop, you can see some t-shirts and hats. Oh look, that's a little film reel there. That's very cute. It's a little hat. Oh and look at the little tote bag here. And you can buy your own little gingerbread for the holidays. There's these little ornaments. And look at the cute little homes you can take home. There's also these cute little ornaments featuring the George Eastman Museum. And even more little homes that you can take home. And it says they're LED and they light up. Oh, and look at those guys. Look at the little happy star. They're so cute. Oh, and look at the glitter. And there was the George Eastman Museum with gingerbread houses and trees and fun stuff and some not fun, so fun stuff, but also fun stuff. <laughs> did you did you learn anything? Did you learn that you want to make a gingerbread house? Oh, um, I know. I kind of just like looking at them. <laughs> Don't necessarily need to get my hands dirty. We could create a whole thing. You could wear gloves. Gloves? And you can't, when you're wearing gloves though, you can't really like get in there and do the work that needs to be done. You could. Um, um, you could buy one that's already made. You could buy one, yay. Or I could make one for you and be like, here, you can, nom 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 nom. Or I could just like buy you some gingerbread. I guess that would be the same. I guess it doesn't have to be formed into a house. Just a big pile of gingerbread, yeah. a big loaf. Yeah, a gingerbread loaf. You could, Yummy. You could, if you get a loaf, you could like sculpt it. You could use gloves for that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I have no outro. Which is the outro? And I have no gingerbread house, so I may have to build one and he can eat it all. I don't know if they're delicious. They're not. They get kind of stale. Have, like, the design, I think they're like meant to be like the design comes with for flavor. Yeah, I think so too. Kind of like fondant and all that stuff. I made a fondant cake once and then ate it and was like it's not oh, good. It's, it's very pretty, but not good. And so we just like ate the cake inside, which was still good. That part was good. <laughs>
thanks for watching i have a patreon it's below you should go sign up and you should watch his stuff because he's okay and <laughs> anything else goodbye forever oh it's okay you don't have to go forever oh i just hit your <laughs>